What is going on, you two? It is your boy, Dead Man, and today, guys, I'm making a video that I'm so excited to make. Guys, I've been wanting to make this video now probably for the last six months since I got the new 2018 GSX-R1000, but, you know, today it's very humbling to be able to make this video, man, and it's just something that, you know, it's taking a lot of hard work, of course, but, you know, God has made a way out of no way, guys, and I'm so excited to share with you that the 2018 GSX-R1000 is no longer a stock motorcycle. She's sitting right here behind this garage door. And guys, let me tell you, she is a monster, guys. I ended up going pretty crazy on the mods over the winter on this bike. A lot crazier than I thought I was going to go. And uh, I'm so excited to reveal all of them to you guys. So let's pop this garage open. Let's go in there. And I'm about to show y'all my new and improved 2018 GSXR 1000. Say hello to my new and improved 2018 GSXR 1000. Right, guys right behind me is the 2018 gsxr 1000 as you can see the first thing that you probably noticed in the video is going to be that beautiful pretty blue oh my gosh pentacarbon exhaust man we went with the full systems brock's performance pentacarbon exhaust and which we're about to do you already knew we're about to do a cold start up on it um i just brought it home last night so i've only literally heard it like one other time which was yesterday and uh, I'm so excited to hear that cold start up. So we did that. We also lowered the bike some in the front and the back with the Brock's lowering links. Um, we threw this fancy Moto Million uh, quick release gas cap that you guys all told me to get on here. Um, we did so much. We also did the rear sprocket, guys. Kept the same, uh, kept the same size, but threw that Vortex rear sprocket on there. Um, and then also threw a steering damper on here, guys, because last year, Oh my gosh, this bike was just too loosey-goosey for me. So through a, uh, I believe the brand was Tubo or Tubu, um, steering damper on there to tighten that uh, that steering a little bit, man. Because last year, like I said, it was just too loosey-goosey for me and I was not digging it. But let me set up this tripod real quick and let's do our first cold start up with the new Pentacarbon exhaust on here. Man, she looks so good with this new pipe on here. All right, guys, we are about to do a cold start up on the 2018, the new and improved. 2018 Suzuki GSX-R1000 with the full systems Brock's Performance Exhaust. I think the only other thing that I did that I forgot to mention a second ago was we did the quick shifter as well. And I love that. On the ride home yesterday, I was in love with that quick shifter. So super duper excited about that. But uh, let's give this bike a cold start up real quick. And let's uh, see how it sounds, man. Thank you. 
Dollar Time and Love, man. <laughs> I've been freaking love, man. That bike sounds so freaking good, man. This pipe sounds so amazing. Now, you guys know I have the Alien Head Exhaust on my 2001 GSXR 1000 that actually is no longer my motorcycle. I cannot wait to make the reveal video for that bike. That bike is no longer mine. Cannot wait to tell you guys who it belongs to now, but as it sits, it's still right here. Um, but it does belong to somebody else. We just haven't delivered it to him yet. But I have the alien head on that bike and that bike sounds amazing. This Penta Carbon, oh my gosh, is just on another level, guys. I could literally just rev this bike all day long. As you see, smoke is coming out of my mouth because it's like 30 or 40 degrees out here. But it feels so amazing just sitting here revving this bike because it sounds that amazing. I am so happy with my purchase of that Penta Carbon exhaust. I needed a minute after that, y'all. That thing just sounds so crazy, man. It sounds so good, and I'm so happy I decided to bite the bullet and just go ahead and get it. Now, I know what I said when I first got the bike, and of course, I went back and watched all those older videos when I first bought this bike, and uh, I was saying a lot of stuff, man. I was on Cloud9. I didn't know what was going on, man. I just had just bought one of my dream bikes, and I was all over the place, but the reason I decided to go ahead and put the pipe on there is because um, after I put that cheap slip on on last year and it came a loose, you know, I was like, you know what, man? At the end of the day, life is short. I might as well just go ahead and get what I want, and that's what it was, man. And I have, a, I personally have a hard time spending money on myself on stuff like, you know, customizing my bike or customizing my car. For the past couple of years, I've just been going ho on like investing, 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 um, and that's really all I've really spent my money on over these past couple of years. Yes, I've done a little bit of customization to the Street Glide. Um, hooray! We actually just paid off the Street Glide last month, which is super duper dope. Um, but I have a hard time spending money on myself just because over the past couple of years, I've just been focused on obtaining financial independence through real estate. And fortunately, we've done that, right? So now that we have all of our expenses covered by our assets, you know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to get out of that mental shift of, you know, being able to spend money on myself because my wife and I, we both still do work. So we do have a nice amount of money coming in. Um, but you know what I'm saying? It's still a mind shift because I'm just frugal y'all. Like I'm just super duper frugal, but like I said, I'm getting better. And I realize, you know what I'm saying? If not now, then when, you know what I'm saying? What if I never got the opportunity to be able to mod that bike out? Like I want it, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather live now, um, instead of, you know, hoping that one day I'll be able to do something right. So ended up biting the bullet, man, but it was a crazy investment. And I'm about to tell you guys how much money I put in this bike, because when I'm thinking about it, it just sounds crazy. It sounds so stupid. And uh, guys, it's crazy, but hey, God is good because he's blessed us to be in the financial situation to be able to do such a silly thing like customizing this motorcycle because it was not cheap. So I would say the most expensive mod that we did was the Penta Carbon Exhaust. Guys, the Penta Carbon Exhaust, I ended up going with the, um, the polished look instead of, I went with the polished chrome over the black. I was thinking about going with the black just because all of this is black, but of course I was watching a 650E video and it was when they were in Nashville last October. And there was a BMW 1000, um, S1000 RR M model there that had this exact same setup with the polished look, the blue plate, and then the blue carbon fiber tip. And I fell in love with it at that point. And I was like, that's what I want. So I ended up going with that one. This pipe was a little bit less than the black one. It ended up being, I believe, like $1649 um, for the pipe. I also did... This quick release gas cap, which wifey actually got me this for Christmas. So she paid for that. So don't really know the expense of that. I think they're between 100 and 120 bucks. I got the Vortex sprocket right here. Ordered that for Motosport. I believe that after uh, shipping and everything was like 80 bucks. Also did the quick shifter. As you guys can see, I'm so excited about this because I've never had a quick shifter before on any of the bikes. Um, and that was, I think, like $330. Um, and it was super easy to plug in, install, and then we had to do something in the dash to get that working. Uh, what else did we do? We also lowered the bike. Can't really see the lowering links because they're underneath the bike, but lowered it quite a bit. Um, I'm now almost flat-footed on this bike, which is dope, whereas before, I was on my tippy toes, and I'm only 5'6". So this bike sat up really high from the factory, and now um, it fits me a lot better. Now, there was a lot of debate when it came to which flash I could get which power commander I should have got, or if I just got to get, should have got it tuned through the ECU. And, um, and guys, I decided to go fully stock to Brock on this bike. So only thing I'm forgetting, which of course I'm forgetting so much because it was so much stuff we did to this bike. I did get the Sprint F-185 air filter in there. So the bike is breathing, y'all. It's breathing, man. But, um, and I think that was like 250, I want to say. So 
We put a lot into this bike. We'll get to that final number in a second. But I ended up going with the Brox Flash. Um, I got the standard flash for the bike. Um, I ended up getting the R Flash because I wanted to hook it up with that quick shifter. You have to get the R Flash um, on Brock's website in order to get the quick shifter hooked up. Um, and then I got the Power Commander. Um, I ended up watching that full Stock to Brock um, series where he actually customized the 2017 Suzuki GSX-R1000 um, back when they first came out. And he ended up buying one of those bikes and basically doing his full Stock to Brock package on it. And at the end of his package, the bike was putting out like low 190s as far as horsepower. And to be honest, guys, that's more horsepower than I really need, man. I'm just going to be out here having a blast on this bike. I really just wanted a newer version than my 2001 GSX-R1000 um, with all the modern stuff like the quick shifter and the new pipe and all of that stuff, right? So, you know, as far as the horsepower and stuff goes, yes, that stuff is dope. Yes, why well, I engage in a few smackdowns here or there? Absolutely. But, you know, do I really care exactly what the number it's making? Not really, guys. I just want a bike that's going to perform excellent all the time. And I can honestly say that my 2001 GSX-R1000 with the Brox full setup, I got the Brox Alien Head exhaust um, and the Power Commander in that bike. It's always performed flawlessly. And I was really looking for um, the same out of this. So I was thinking about going the more Mafia Flash. I was also thinking about um, doing the Nick's Performance Tuning Flash. I heard his flash is really, really good for this bike. But guys, like I said, I just wanted something that was going to be great all around and that's what i went with and it wasn't really that much more expensive i mean if any than any of the other setups so that's what i ended up going with um in total guys this is gonna sound crazy right because i'm still like mind blown over this but in total as far as mods into that bike um the whole bill came up for about 37 3800 and then i also had to get everything installed luckily shout out to drone man drone is like one of my dad's best friends and uh he's like our mechanic when it comes to these jixers because he is a suzuki guy he has several boosters and he knows his suzuki so he ended up giving me the nephew discount you know what i'm saying as far as installing everything so i had to pay to get everything installed that was just under about a thousand dollars um and uh in total guys i have basically like 45 4600 dollars in mods oh <laughs> that sounds crazy into this bike but the cool thing about it, guys, is like I said, you got to invest in yourself first. You got to invest in assets first. And luckily, this bike is being paid for by a piece of real estate. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for, man. So, you know, yes, you know, it hurts saying that I spent $4,500 in mods on this bike. But it's also a blessing to be able to say that because at the end of the day, God has made it all possible, guys. A couple years ago, I would have never, ever, ever been able to pump money like that into a freaking motorcycle but now i mean yes of course forty five hundred dollars is a lot of money but you know it's not the end of the world and you know hey we're gonna have fun so that's all that matters man that's what life is all about having fun and kicking it man so in total we got forty five hundred dollars in mods into the new bike the pipe sounds amazing let me know down in the comments what do y'all think of that penta carbon exhaust next video of course you already know is going to be a first ride i have not um, that's a lie. I rode it one time, but I've not really got to ride it and enjoy it yet because yesterday it was pitch black. I couldn't see anything. You know, it's still potholes out on these roads. Ohio sometimes sucks, especially when it comes to those potholes. But, um, you know, first ride is going to be next video. I'm super excited to ride it out in the daytime, be able to check it out and uh, see what she's all about, man. I already know she's a monster. I felt it last night and uh, it's going to be crazy, man. I'm just excited. I'm grateful. And uh, man, just ultra legendary, man. But hey, always remember when god is in it there is no limit guys your dream life is out there you just gotta go get it man this was a dream that god has enabled me to have it come true in my life man you know what i'm saying it's taking a lot of hard work right you know but at the end of the day it's here man so hey god is great man we will see y'all in the next video peace